Hey everybody, it's your boy Desmond Lexi Firearms Train. Uh, I just want to do a series of videos, uh, something I've been thinking about for a while, uh, especially for new shooters and new gun owners, some things and tips that you might want to think about. And the first thing I want to talk about is once you purchase that new firearm, you want to make sure you read that owner's manual. Every new gun that you're going to buy is going to come with an owner's manual and you need to take the time to read that owner's manual. Yes, this is for my canic, and I'm not saying go out there and get your canic, but you should definitely check them out. But you want to read your owner's manual regardless of what firearm you get. Your owner's manual is going to provide you with a lot of excellent information that you're going to uh, need for that new firearm. It's going to point out all your major components of your firearm, where your slide release is, where your magazine release is, where your sights are, everything like that. That's something that a new shooter uh, would, need, would need to know is going to be in your owner's manual. It's going to have a lot of good information in here. Some other things that you'll find in your owner's manual, how to disassemble your gun, how to field strip that gun to clean it. So if you don't know how to field strip that gun, go to your owner's manual. Read your owner's manual and it'll tell you exactly how to disassemble that gun and put it back together the right way. Don't go to YouTube as your first stop. Read our owner's manual. You'll retain the knowledge a lot better if you actually read it. Uh, some other information that you'll find in your owner's manual, if you have a special feature on your gun, like say your optics cut or something like that, They'll show you how to install any special items on your gun, so how to take that optics plate off, put a new plate on there, and anything like that, or what plates or optics will fit your firearm. So it's something else you want to think about. And one thing that I find very useful in, uh, in my owner's manuals is this exploded view of the firearms. This breaks. This pretty much shows every part of your firearm. It breaks it down and it points out every part of that firearm. All the guts and everything is are visible and you're able to see those parts and it has a part list over here on the other side. So say you need to replace a spring, you need to replace a pin or something like that, you can go, go to this view and line up the part with the part number and order that actual uh, part for your firearm. So it's very important that you read your, fi your uh, owner's manual if you're a new shooter, new firearm, read your owner's manual. I'm not saying that I keep every owner's manual that I have, uh, for every firearm that I have. You know, I've got one Glock, you've seen them all, right? But I do have a lot of them saved on my computer. I'll download them on my computer and keep them in a file on my computer. So if I need to refer to it later, I can do so. So again, this is just uh, one tip. I probably have a couple, uh, few, a few other videos coming out pretty soon. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this information. If it's something that you like, please let me know. Uh, please check out the website, LegacyFirearmsTraining.com. Uh, go online, sign up for these classes. Keep training. Stay safe.